A student at the University of Kansas will soon get to hug his family after six years of being apart. Basset Azizi is a senior at KU. His family had to leave Afghanistan when the Taliban came to power. Now the community in Lawrence is rallying around the family. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz just spoke with Azizi and she's live now in Lawrence. Carolina? Well, Brad, with uh, the Taliban in power, Bassett's family was in danger, and that's because his dad, he worked alongside U.S. Army and Navy troops. The family is in Abu Dhabi tonight, but in about a week or so, they will be flying to the U.S. on a military plane. Music brought Bassett Assisi to the U.S. from Afghanistan. He most recently performed at a 9-11 commemoration. <laughs> Bringing a 20-year war to an end impacted his family directly. Azizi came to the U.S. at 16 to attend music school in Michigan. After graduation, he was accepted to KU School of Music. While he was getting ready to start senior year, he was also monitoring the situation in Afghanistan. He never expected the chaos that unfolded. But I never imagined that a couple will collapse in matters of a couple of days. Azizi's parents and three sisters stayed home for nine days between the time the Taliban took over and when they got the green light to head to the airport for evacuation. I still remember that days I had my breakfast at 9 p.m. because I had no time, you know, to mess around or just go have a meal or drink water. Azizi was a congressional intern in D.C. over the summer. He recruited lawmakers, friends and troops his dad worked with for letters of recommendation to confirm his family would be at risk if they stayed. And so many people wanted to leave the country and my family was one. Uh, so to, to be able to get them out was of course difficult. The family left nearly all of their belongings behind. A fully furnished home with pictures and memories. With banks closed in Kabul, the family couldn't access any of their money. They left without it. Azizi says it was not only a challenging time for his family in Kabul, but the pressure he felt here to get them out safely. It's not easy because if something would happen, you would directly be responsible for their blood. And uh, that was, of course, a difficult um, situation. But of course, they're my family. I mean, if I, if I don't help them, who, who would, you know? The family will settle in Kansas. They're staying in touch with extended relatives and friends who couldn't get out. Uh, but I always hope to go back. At this time, I do not know if that's a possibility. The Azizi family has a GoFundMe, and there's been an outpouring of support already from the community here in Lawrence and beyond. They still haven't met their goal, though, so if you'd like to help out, we will have a link posted on our website, kctv5.com. Reporting in Lawrence, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News.